Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. It's been a long time since I've done a YouTube video. I've been so busy with the sharpening system orders. So I wanted to do a video today because I thought it'd be good fun. We, uh, well, essentially I was on Marketplace just now and I've just seen there's an almond tree. Let me flip you around. Now what's really cool is, uh, so it turns out this is a downed almond tree and I'll give him a call in a second. We'll give him a call and see if it's actually still available. He put it up last night, so it probably is. But I'm thinking, if you look here, there's one bend branch there that could make an awesome, possibly, spoon. You just never know until you've seen it. But that could either make a great uh, cranky spoon or even maybe a ladle, depending on what we can do here. So that could be good fun. There's an opportunity to get another spoon out of here. And there's also an opportunity to get a spoon out of here. And then we can save these parts here for things like clothes pegs or, or other things, well, essentially other other woodcraft, other tree. But I, so that's option. And then obviously we've got straight grain here. So if we take that there to there, if there's no knots, we can use that to make uh, tangential radial spoons while still having enough here. And there's something back here that I can't quite see. Um, so I thought, let's give them a call and we'll see if we can uh, take some, not that I need any more wood and I've never cut almond wood, I've never carved it. So uh, it might be good fun. It might be good fun and, and, and we'll see how we go. So let's uh, let's give them a quick call. Yeah, tricky, Tom, I spoke to you on Facebook Marketplace about uh, maybe taking a couple of pieces of wood. Oh, great. What a lovely bloke, really nice. So it turns out he's cut it down already. He's cut it into sections, but uh, he said there's still a whole batch of stuff up there. So we'll see what we can do. I'd hoped it was going to be like that so I could really pick and choose and, and use what's there. We will see, but we're going to go up there anyway, have some fun. We're going to run, uh, we'll take take one of the old vintage saws up there and see how we go. So watch this space. Let's get uh, organised. And he also said he's got a down tree that uh, I can go up one weekend and, and uh, use that wood as well. So we'll see where we go.
happy with how the saw ran today. Uh, I think the bar could do with a bit of dressing. Um, I mean it started ran tuned tuned fine but uh, yeah yeah just not that happy. There is quite a lot of movement in those rails there so oh well here's what it is. I always take a fire extinguisher with me it's always a good idea if the saw sets a light or sets something else alight and uh, you can put it out. All right let's pick up the wood. And I'll go in and just say thank you. Uh, really lovely people. What wonderful people. Just easy going. And uh, I really appreciate it. So I tied it up and I'll uh, go from there. And then when we get home, we will uh, check the saw out and check the, the chain out. Go from there. So you can see some logs in the background over there. And uh, we'll wax some glue on the end grain to make sure that uh, it doesn't check any worse than it is. It's very slight, you know, that happens. Um, literally as soon as you cut it, it happens. Um, so there we go. But we'll just do a quick bit of chainsaw maintenance. I do this after every time I use the saw. One thing I really dislike about solid nose bars, which this is, but they haven't got a nose sprocket, is how hot they get. They get really hot. So, uh, yeah, not a fan. There's really nothing complicated with sealing end grain. A little bit of waterproof PVA. I don't bother waiting for it to be dry or I don't bother cleaning anything. I just give it a, a bit of a, and this isn't even the ideal brush to be honest, but it will work. Well, the rain's, uh, the rain's come in. I pulled uh, the wood under the, the little bit of shelter here. And I think that's everything. So all in all, it was a good day. Uh, got the wood, 
ran the saws, which was fun. Not happy, not overly happy with the way the saw ran. So I'm gonna, oh, I'll have another look at that bar. It's been a bit finicky recently. So I'll check that out. The rakers were all fine. The teeth were all sharp. So I think it's probably moving on that bar within the bar rail. So I'll probably try and close them, but um, I'm not a big fan of uh, solid nose bars. They get so hot, as I said earlier. So, um, but there we go. Really good, met some really lovely people. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can go back there and uh, use some of the other bigger saws and seat some rings. They said that that was uh, possible. So can't wait for that, waiting for a chain to turn up for the big engines. So uh, yeah, all right guys, thanks for watching.